Go! Who's going to get it into turn one? We are finally away. There you go. Ziggy gets away well. And Andrew's sitting behind. He's going to slot in. Can he get the toe down to turn one? It's a long way to the outside line. He goes again. Heisler trying to have a look, but he's got a McLaren to the inside. Zingy tries to squeeze him off, but And Andrews comes back down to the outside line, has to drop back, that is Heisler, going to be right behind, he wants to try and get involved in this one, Will and Andrews have a look to the inside, he goes for a quick fakie, we do have Gilly swiping down the inside of Nifajan, in fact Nifajan actually trying to make the overtake, as he is doing his best, locking the rears, bit of contact with Dave Raptors from behind, and Gilly goes off the circuit, losing positions, we've got Sefka going to the inside line at turn 7, that is not what you usually see, it didn't work out, but he gave it his best shot, didn't he? Ready? Hold, go! Lights out and away we go. Finally, something happened. We are away. I don't know what's going on. There you go. Hopefully, we can see something. Okay. Uh, complete madness into turn one. Zingy trying to have a go. There's contact. Cohen makes contact. The Red Bull is now going to have a go of the Aston Martin. Zingy leads the way on the opening lap. Absolutely perfect stuff from him. And Andrews can't find a way. Cohen trying to send it to the inside. Close to contact, but they still manage to keep it side by side. Cohen trying to have a look to get in front, but Heisch is not having any of it. He maintains the position and stays in P3. Oh, the horse goes off the mclaren is tagged i don't know what's happened there we can't see the order i can't actually do anything i don't know what's going on and andrews is going to be right behind and possibly looking to make an overtake he is already going to have a look at making an overtake is he going to try and be a bit more aggressive this time but no once again backed off he's going to have another go here he's using all the energy he wants to try and secure it this time Zingy is not going to be able to get back at him. Heisler is also going to try and switch through. All of a sudden, Zingy's dropped to P3. I do not believe it. Absolute tragedy as the slingshot effect is so powerful. He wants to have another go and get back up the order. Heisler's going to let it go, but he spins the car. Off the racing line he goes. The marbles catch him out. I do not believe it. What a shame. Zingy leads the way for the final lap of the sprint race here. And down Andrew sits behind, going to be using all the battery, the DRS, the slipstream is available, the marbles on the car are going to lose him some grip, but still to the inside goes End Andrews, space is left, but he backs up anyway to look for the switchback, he doesn't make it work, misjudges the space as he accidentally taps the back of the Alphatari, still going to get a good run looking to the outside line, but now sends it to the inside, Zingy's got it covered, Zingy comes around the final corner to win the sprint race, in Spain and he returns to the Spanish Grand Prix the circuit where we last raced in season five his first championship win this is the first time that Zingy has been on the podium in Spain and it's a win switching positions again are they no Zingy's not having any of it he wants to lead this race we don't know when the final lap will be so we're just going to be waiting to see what these guys can do now the race leader is not Zingy. Zingy has got damage. I do not believe it. He's got damage. He's got a front end plate missing on the left-hand side. And that is not lag. What is happening? I can't tell. Oh, and off into the grass goes the Mercedes. Zingy's trying to hold on. He's got the McLaren to the inside. That damage does seem to be affecting him quite badly at the moment. And Andrews leads the way. That is going to be... Uh, Cohen sitting in a comfortable P2, but and Andrews is round. I do not believe it. He's out of this race. He is out of this race. It's Cohen. Cohen is leading the Grand Prix and he's going to win it. That is the final lap. He's going to win. He's won. I do not believe it. What a job at the very end. Gatos P2 and Heisler trying to have a look, but I think he's just lost out and got P3. Zingy must have been a P4 right there.
Go! Who's going to get it into turn one? We're finally away. Zingy, can he replicate the start that he got last time? He can. And Andrews, can he get the toe and maybe make it work this time to the outside line? He's going to try his best. He has the advantage. He's ahead. And I think he's going to get the lead, pushing him right to the line. Is And Andrews. Zingy, though, manages to somehow magically get back in front. Will he try and challenge him into turn three? He will not be able to give it a shot. He actually does manage to hold it somewhat to the outside line. Zingy secures it, though. That is going to be the position gained. Side by side with the McLaren. Locking up the Riz, it seems, with Heichler. The McLaren, the Dave Raptors, is going to go for a move on the Williams. They're already going to make it work on that medium tyre. Absolutely perfect. Now, they've just got two cars in front of them to make this strategy work. Couldn't have gone better for them right there. Perfect. Heichler, P4 now. They're going to have to just try and think of the long game here. We've got Eager Pro, who's also on that medium tire, but he makes a mistake and he's going to lose a position to Gilly. Go! We're finally away! Cohen gets away well. Gatos in P2. All on the hard tire. Switch up with Nipper Jan and Gilly. Actually, back at the field, there's an issue as well. Don't know what's going on into turn one. We finally see there's a bit of contact as Gatos is absolutely overwhelmed by everything going on. The Williams to the outside line. The Haas. The Haas of Nipper Jan is trying to jump. Zingy, if he possibly can. Zingy to the inside line, though. There's a car off. There's damage from lots of cars. I don't know what just happened there. Gilly's down the order. Heichler's off. The Ferrari's off. The other Haas of Nipperjan is off. And there's no front wing for Gatos. Dave Raptors is very far behind, but I don't think he was actually involved. And somehow, after all of that, Zingy has managed to emerge P2. Does he get a good run? And can he push for the move? He is going to push for the move, and that's exactly what he needs to do. Fastest lap for Devon Young as everybody's in that train. To the inside line, Cohen's not going to fight it too hard. He's going to make sure he secures that P2 because that's going to be a crucial position to gain. Zingy's all over the back of him and he manages to switch back in and turn three. He's going to switch back in. He's to the inside line. Cohen has the advantage as we head into turn four. Zingy's on the inside. Legal squeeze. That is the move done. Dave Raptors leads the way as we're on lap four out of 33. Zingy sits behind with DRS. He wants to make sure that he makes that move early and he is going to get it done. Dave Raptors is just going to have to let that happen, unfortunately. He's uh, not got a good enough exit if he has a little bit of a sliding moment and that is going to allow Endangers to attack into turn one. Zingy leaves the session. I do not believe it. He disconnects. Dave Raptors is going to put the pressure on here on the Alfa Romeo. He's going to lead. After all of that, what just happened? A switchback available for End Andrews. I don't think it's going to work too well. The McLaren manages to jump into P1 after that one. Heichler is now in the train for the top three. Zingy looking to the outside line already on Eager Pro as he's going to try and sweep around the outside despite being on the more disadvantaged tyre. He has so much pace in this game. He has so much confidence, but he's side by side and he does break early. He is legally allowed to do that because he was side by side. Very well played there as he's going to make sure that he gets back this position in a more secure and safer manner. DRS and ERS will be available. That will be the position game. And Andrews looking for the lead already on Dave Raptors. Dave Raptors. Didn't really have a choice. Doesn't have any energy. And Andrews leaves the session. That's two drivers now having issues. And he's got his issue a little bit later on, which makes it very difficult. That is going to be Heichler looking for the overtake into the lead of the Grand Prix on the McLaren. Once again, Dave Raptor sitting in P2, this time with the Williams in front of him. Sefka retires from the session, causing a safety car. Everybody is going to be able to relax here. It's only... A VSC. Heichler will lead the way. DRS enabled as we do go for the restart mid corner and a perfect restart there for Dave Raptors as Heichler unfortunately had to lift naturally due to the corner situation. Now Dave Raptors has energy and he is able to attack but he decides to not go for it just yet. Makes a mistake and Zingy is not going to be wanting that in front of him. That is another yellow. That is another yellow. Gatos has an issue that's going to be a virtual safety car again within just a couple of laps. DRS is enabled as we're already going racing. Dave Raptors is going to lead the way after a big shock restart all of a sudden. 
Heisler once again wants to have a look to the outside line. He's going to try and carry it around, but no. He's now going to get attacked by the Alpha Tauri. The Alpha Tauri trying to go way wide, looking for the switchback if possible. Oh, Heisler makes a mistake and he will get the switchback after all. It wasn't even going to be possible until then. And now... Zingy is going to be P2 in the train and he's going to have a phenomenal opportunity to get into the lead immediately after the restart. He does so with ease. That is going to be Zingy leading once again on lap 13. Sending it to the inside is current as that is going to be Robbo backing off and giving the position up. He is going to have another look at going for move on current. Current is going to reluctantly have to give this one up as Robbie uses a lot of energy to make that move work. After having lots of issues earlier on, it's definitely knocked his confidence. He's going to go for the move attempt. Bit of contact, unfortunately, as he's going to have to just back off for now and uh, wait. But that seems to be a legit situation right there, as that was Cohen going off the circuit momentarily. That's going to be Gilly sent off the circuit. Nifojan is going to make the move. Gilly's not even in the background. Just about now he appears. He's also going to have a look at making an overtake on the Mercedes once again at turn five. We get to turn six and he might have a good opportunity on the traction. He will have a perfect opportunity on the traction. Robbo does not decide to back out. Cohen makes a mistake and he gains the position and he's out of the race. I do not believe what has just happened. The safety car is deployed. We will be seeing the safety car go into the pit lane now. He's already gone for the restart. There you go. Zingy doesn't care at all. Got a nice gap right away off the line. That's going to give him a lot of confidence as well. Catching End Andrews off guard. Dave Raptors nicely behind uh, End Andrews in the Alpha Romeo, of course. So he's going to be pressurizing him a little bit. That isn't going to make it so easy for the Alpha Romeo. Side by side, we have here with Heisler and the Haas. There's contact. That is going to be the Haas round. What a shame. Nifojan losing it all. He's also going to make the move on Eager Pro. As they're three wide. What the hell happened there? Gilly is now going to lead the Grand Prix into turn one. Zingy's not going to like that. He's going to send it to the inside. And he's going to make sure he does get that P1 position. You can see there the Aston Martin manages to hold on back to ahead of Gilly where they were originally. Gilly not, not pitting. And Heisler's made that move. Five second part type of the T for Igavro as he speeds into the pit lane. But what just happened? He goes on to the medium tyre. He's gone that long into the race and still goes on to the medium tyre. Nifajan not pitting yet, so he is just trying to hold on for dear life. But Eager Pro, he's pitted, trying to make this strategy work, but all of a sudden is going to lose out significantly after that interesting situation. Going defensive is Nifajan. Eager Pro is going to make that move. There's not really any point of fighting that. Looking to the outside line, but Nifajan is on the racing line. Turn nine. He's going to get DRS. He should have a significant advantage in grip, even in the braking zone. And I don't know what's going to happen there. All of a sudden, it looked like it was going to be contact. Nifojan backs off. Gilly broke as late as he could. Nothing happened. That's legal. And that is fair and square. And Gilly's made a mistake. I do not believe it. He's got damage. He's got no front wing. I was just saying it's about who manages. Who manages? The wet conditions with the slick tyres. Gilly's made a mistake. It's going to be Nifajan into the pit lane. It's going to be Gilly into the pit lane. Because that is Danny making a mistake. Deploying that virtual safety car. He's got no front wing. It's going to be nothing more than a virtual safety car. Which will allow everybody to rest for a bit. Until we start the final lap. Dave Raptors retires. He retires. I do not believe it. On the final lap of the race. On the inside of turn four. Absolutely heartbreaking. Eager Pro is going to take the podium. He's going to take the podium at Spain. Zingy wins the Spanish Grand Prix. Slick tyres in the wet conditions. Heisler is going to get his first ever LSI podium. How about that? Oh, and Eager Pro goes off. Eager Pro goes off. These tyres are completely gone. Will Nippo be able to catch up quick enough on these intermediate tyres? I doubt it. But Eager Pro... Having a bit of a scare, as long as he just keeps it smooth, 
He will secure that podium. And that will be a very nice way for him to end this incredibly, incredibly tough Spanish Grand Prix event. Heichler gets a drive through penalty for speeding under the safety car. Did anybody else be affected by that? No, they didn't. But that is absolutely tragic. He's going to drop all the way back down the order. He's still going to be in the points, however. So he's lucky there, but that is not what he wants. Here we go with the top battle now. And Andrews is going to challenge into turn one. That is going to be Dave Raptors into P2. Wow, absolutely incredible. Zingy finds himself in the same situation with the slingshot. He's going to try and come back to the inside again. And Andrews defending the inside, not letting Zingy really outbreak him. He's still going to be there. Dave Raptors on the mark. Marbles. He's going to be furious with that one. He cannot get back. I don't know if anything more happened there. DRS, ERS going to be deployed to the maximum. ERS being used by End Andrew. Zingy's still going to have a go into the first corner. Nothing left for either driver. Zingy swoops around the outside. He's to the inside. He's going to lead. Is he going to be able to secure it? He does. He manages to get in front, riding the grass. Absolutely perfection there from Zingy. End Andrew's trying to put the pressure on into turn four. It's not enough. Zingy leads the way. What an overtake. That was absolutely epic. And Andrews, a good opportunity, but no, they've spun. Dave Raptors is going to take P2 after all of that. Struggles in the sprint race, but he wins. Wins the main race. The Spanish Grand Prix goes to Zingy in the Saturday tier. Absolutely epic. And Dave Raptors to P2. Well done indeed. And that is Devon Young will get that P4. Gilly gets P5 after a drive-through penalty for Heichler. Gets promoted.